no courage. My opinion. After the Netflix produced Roma won mainstream approval with multiple Oscar nominations, the streaming service then decided to target the world's largest independent movie event, the Sundance Film Festival. And they did it with a film called Velvet Bossa, a dark satire of the art world. It would seem that the digital company is trying to repeat the popular success of 2017's Euro indie darling The Square which theme-wise covered the same territory. Critique is so limiting and emotionally draining. This film does not exist without Ted Sarandos and Scott Stuber and everybody at Netflix. Roma does not exist without Netflix. There are many films that are, that are slightly unorthodox. Who, who but Netflix is gonna make a black and white film in Spanish? You know? Who's gonna make a genre-busting film like this? I, I, I am in love with Netflix. They've supported me all down the line, and they've been crucial. I'm quite curious to know what you think. I think sober hasn't been good for him. Pierce was in the full bloom of alcoholism here. Exactly. Despite director Gilroy's comments, it can be argued that Velvet Buzzsaw would still have easily gained indie credibility without such a brand name behind it, due to the involvement of fan favorite actor Jake Gyllenhaal. Spirit! connected to his art. There are so many brilliant ideas in it, but um, particularly I feel like the idea of what we value, you know, I think we have, like, live in a world now where I think what we value is usually monetary and is, is uh, able to be quantified by money as opposed to what we individually actually love. And I think Dan is sort of attacking all that thing in all of us that kind of is going for only that and never really sort of lost within society what we really value. Something truly goddamn strange is going on! Well, it was uh, could be holding a world premiere at a coat independent movie event, but with such a mainstream money-making power behind it, the film is still a part of the Netflix media company, who controversially tries to challenge conventions of movie culture. We're trending on Instagram. It's a major hit. 